We just finished this bug box and it was lots of fun because we were I learned how to paint camouflage. Hope you enjoyed the video. So as you can see, we have already painted the outside of the box after nailing it all together. Luke did a fantastic job nailing it together. I'm very proud. Now is a fun time for us to learn and teach you also how to paint and camouflage. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take some paint. The paint that was provided is this mottled, wonderful color, like it's like this khaki color. So we're going to spread that here on our paper plate. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to squirt the green that came with it as well and we're going to squirt that next to it and the last thing i'm going to do is to make the green a little bit more olive colored is we're going to squirt a little green in, in it blue we're going to squirt a little blue in it and also the magic trick is to squirt a little orange or some yellow just enough and that deepens the hue just a little bit it's just your basic color coating and the other thing i picked up from my stash is a little brown i mean it doesn't come with the kit but i thought maybe a little brown would help with the whole camouflage feature what do you think luke are we doing yeah. okay so far all right grab your paintbrush buddy okay. and i'll grab mine and how we're going to tackle doing a camouflage is we're going to make shapes that are kind of like amoebas. Do you know what an amoeba is? Yeah. <laughs> well, an amoeba is kind of like a, um, a bacteria that is around us all the time. And I'm going to show you what that shape looks like. So if you want to use your paintbrush, not like horizontally like this, kind of want to change it to be vertical. So there's a lot less surface area that's going to mm -hmm. touch the 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 box and so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a shape that looks like that and did you see how i did it? i didn't do flat i did it on the side and i just kind of wiggled my brush around yep. and that is what we're going to do now in between shapes here what i want to show you is just kind of leave some space sometimes and try not to put two of the same close together of the same color yeah. all right let's go ahead and give it a try ready mm -hmm. all right go ahead Nice smooth edges, painting from the side and kind of wiggle your brush back and forth. That looks like a great amoeba. I'm gonna do one here too. We don't need to reload the paint over so often, do we? No. And the cool part about camouflage too is it wraps around the spots. So what you can do is actually start near the edge over here, wiggle a little bit, and then keep continuing the wiggle on the other side. Oh. Isn't that cool? Let me turn it so you're, oop, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. But the cool thing about this making this camouflage is it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just kind of do oh. your own thing and wiggle as you go. Design. And your own design, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See how I did mine flat and it kind of looked like this weird flat shape? That's why. We should lift it on the edge. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, now that we've gotten most of that green done, that looks really great, Luke. I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of color into it. I'm gonna pick a little bit of this brown and mix it in there and make another shade of green. Make sure your paintbrush, you can either rinse it off. I like to just go for it. See how this is just a little bit of a different shade than this brown? We'll need the brown to be its own independent color too if we want to add it. But now we can go ahead and now this is the part where you have to decide what amoebas we want to connect to each other. Do we want them to connect? Yes. Oh, that looks good. Oh my goodness. We're really good at this camouflage painting, huh? I'm so glad we get to do this together. That looks neat. I'm gonna put one right over here to connect these guys. Oh, 
All right, how does that look so far? I think we look smashing. Look at all that color. Now let's go for the Kesta. Let's go for some brown. Straight up brown, huh, bud? Yep. Let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead. I'll put some over here. Whoops. I got a big goober. Might want to brush it off a little bit before you go for it. Are we going to go for the whole thing or just most of it? Well, I gotta leave some of that background paint in there though, right? Yeah. Because if that background paint actually adds to the camouflage part of it. Now you still kind of connect the amoebas, but make sure you leave some spaces sometimes. Because that's the other colored amoebas, right? The, uh, the khaki colored. Got the last bit of it. And there you go. Now it looks really good and camouflaged. We're going to put it on its side and let it dry. And then we'll come back and finish it up. Good job, Luke. Give me five. So we finished decorating the outside of the box with camouflage. And we even did the strap. Wasn't that fun to do, Luke? Yeah. That was cool. So we'll get that tacked on later. But first, we wanted to put some stickers. And I know the instructions say to put the stickers on the outside of the box. But we thought... When we caught our bugs, they would need some company. So we put them on the inside of our box before we add the screens. So the bugs will have some company. All right, our last sticker. And now we're going to get our hammer and our nails ready and get the parts we're gonna need and the screen for the bug box. So go ahead and put the screen on the front. Okay, and now you need two shorts and two longs. Do you know what I mean by short and long sides? Two the ones we painted? Two, long. two shorts and two longs. You got it, buddy. Now that we've gotten our screen on both sides, we're going to attach our wonderful handle. How are we going to do that? Luke, what do you think? Uh, we're just going to poke these through this and stick it to, this, to this, these two sides. Okay, we'll start right here. And to help get it through the wood, we get it started a little bit and then we'll use the hammer to get them all in there. You did a great job getting them started, Luke. That wasn't easy. No, they're not easy. So Why don't you do the second one? Perfect. Let's come repeat for the other side. The last thing we get to do is put this clear uh, piece of acetate over this nice big hole so we can put our bugs in but i would want to tell you that there is a protective coating on both sides of it so it looks a little cloudy right now but before you install go ahead and pull off those pieces of protective plastic and now you have a crystal clear piece of acrylic now we're just going to make sure those holes line up in the corner and we're going to tamp it down but not all the way because we want to be able to slide that across. So, Luke, did you get it started? Well, I can't, wasn't, can't go in, so. It's okay. Mom will take, I think it just got a little. Painted. Painted. Mm -hmm. So we just start her up. No, no. Use our little hammer. Good. Now we can slide it back and forth. All right, let's go check up, get some bugs. What do you think? 